Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is one of them Slim Jims I was talking about that I have like 8 million of. I need to stop eating them, but I can't. I'm a weak person. I'm weak. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, KLT, back for another question of the day. It's almost time for Monday, and I know we could probably use a couple more days on this weekend, but unfortunately, our time has come. It's back to work for everyone tomorrow. I actually have a bunch of vacation time that I need to figure out how I need to use before the 17th of next month. So maybe I'll maybe I'll take this week off. Hmm. But anyways, we're going to jump into the question of the day. This one is something that I don't know. Maybe maybe people won't like my answer. I don't know, but we'll see. So the question of today is, do you believe that children are our future? Teach them well and let them lead the way. No, no, <laughs> no, that's not the song. But so I, I have to say that, wait, that song came out in like, man, when did it, when did it come out? Let me see. That song came out in 1985. Man, that's a, that's an old song. I, I wouldn't know where I learned it from, but man, that's an old song. Old people must really know that song. So to the question, do I think that children are our future? Um, yeah, well, yes, like literally, yes. <laughs> but um, in the sense that like, I think, I think the way that this question is geared is do I think that like children are going to carry our torch and make the world a better place? And, you know, like all this, you know, fairy tale wonder that we told kids that we were told as kids growing up. Um, is that going to continue? Is that I, I think not. And I think it's actually really super toxic. And so let me tell you why. I think that saying that children are our future and that, you know, we've got to do everything for them and, you know, we've got to leave stuff for like the generations to come and blah, blah, blah. I get it. It's great. But the world is trash now. We need to fix the world as it is at this moment. Like children aren't going to do that. Like we live in a giant spinning dumpster fire right now. And to say that children are the future and we need to leave things better for them. Yes, of course. But we're not even addressing the problems that we have right now. We're just kicking the can down the road for future generations. I mean, like, look at how how villainized we millennials have been for probably the last decade at least everything is our fault from all these industries closing restaurants closing we're not having as many kids etc 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 everything is our fault but didn't you believe that children were the future like you're you're supposed to be you know teaching us well and letting us lead the way but you won't get out of the way. We've got people here in Congress in the U.S. that have been alive and in positions of power since like the 50s and they won't get out of the way. And they're just so out of touch with reality that we're like, we're just living on policies that are made by these people that are barely in touch with reality anymore. And like, but children are the future. We've got to leave things better for our children. And I... Like this, this is your great, great, great grandchildren by this time. And I think that to say that, like, yes, our children are important and whatnot, but we have this whole idea of putting way too much emphasis and importance on kids. Like one of the most important things that I, that I learned from, you know, people better than I is that, you know, when you get into a relationship and you have kids the kids don't become your priority. Your relationship with your significant other is still the priority. You need to prioritize your husband or your wife above anything else still. Like that's still your main connection and your your main drive and goal is to have that relationship together working and functioning properly. And then your children will see that and then they'll have those values growing up. But we're so, we get to the point where, you know, we have kids and then, oh, everything is for the kids. We do everything for the children. Children are my everything. You know, I don't care if you're upset. The kids are blah, 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 blah. And that's, man, it's such a bad way to do things. And then we say, you know, we got to do all this for the kids and we got to do all this for the kids. It's okay to do some stuff for yourself. Just because you have a child doesn't mean your life needs to end. 
I know so many people that are like, yo, I, I have a kid now. I can't do anything ever again until the kid's gone. And I'm like, that's not how children work. Like, why would you bring a child into your life if you're just going to blame them for all of your ills and everything that's negative that's happened to you or you can't do these things that you want to do because I have a kid. I can't do it. I have a kid. Sorry. Well, like, that's uh, that's such a bad mentality. And then your kids hear and learn that from you. And then they just feel themselves as a burden on your life. And I, it's just all bad. It's all bad. The whole, everything surrounding it is just awful. So do I believe that children are our future? Yeah, absolutely. But we need to still, you know, be here until we, until we're dead. We're still, we're still the ones shaping the future and, you know, giving our kids a future and, you know, modeling what they, what we think they should be doing and wanting when they grow up. So like, you can't stop all of that just because we have a, we have a child, you know, like you got, it's, but that's, that's my, I guess that's a start of a big, long rant I have on like people and kids, but I don't have kids. So of course I have no say, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. So that's what I'm told every time I talk about something dealing with kids anyway. So I, I they, there must be some truth to it. <laughs> But I think that right now we're at the position where we need to really take a serious look at ourselves, like society in general, and see all of the things like we're we're a society that has no direction and no purpose. We're we're people that are just so so okay with just being living in the status quo. Like I don't want to change, I just want things to be just normal. Like that's what a lot of people are saying right now, you know, after the election and now that Trump's going to be out of office, like you just hear all these people. I just want things to go back to normal. No, we want things to be better than normal. Like normal is what got us here in the first place. Trump wasn't the 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 cause of all these problems. He was just a symptom of all these problems that we just keep glossing over and putting a blanket over it. like Big Daddy when the kid threw up on the ground and you just put a newspaper over it and just forget it. That's that's what all of our society has been doing for decades and decades and decades instead of addressing problems and, you know, giving us something to point at and move forward towards. We just we just sit and do nothing. And then we teach our kids just, hey, just sit and do nothing. Hey, go to school when you get how was school? All right, great. Are you done with school? Okay, you're 18. Get out of my house. Like, what, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? And until I think that we as the adults in the world get it together and decide what type of direction we want to take the world in, what we want to do, what we want to model for our kids and how we want... Like everything is always for the kids. We want, you know, I, you can't do this. You can't let them do this because of our children and our children and our children and you need children and children, children, children. And like... But we still, we, it's all just lip service. All right, let me stop before I, I, I could go on forever about this, like this, how we, you know, pedestal children in our society. And I just, I, I, I don't want to like continue ranting because I know somebody's going to flame me about it. But, <laughs> but that's just, uh, I mean, we could talk, we could talk some more in the comments or you can DM me if you want to ask me about something or whatever, but that's just that's just kind of like an off the top of my head. Maybe one day children will be the future and we'll we'll be pointing our society in a direction where we can say, OK, kids, now it's your time to take the reins and, you know, keep pushing us towards this goal that we have and doing this thing. And then that then children will be the future. But until then, nah, we, we need to we need to be the future still at the moment. We need to get ourselves together. So that way we can leave, we can actually leave this world a better place for our kids instead of all these people saying that just to say that, and you know, just in the moment or whatever it is they're trying to do to gain points with people just saying, you know, we need to, for the kids. Blah, blah, blah. But anyways, I almost started ranting again. Uh, that's it for today. <laughs> If you like these question of the day videos, hit the like button and let me know that I'm not just talking into the void, speaking to myself for no reason. Um, if you don't like these videos, hit the like button to let me know that there's some things that I could do better. And then I, I will, you know, try and make a, a difference in the, in the videos going forward. So either way, hit the like button 
and help feed my ego. But that's it for today. I'm going to leave that question there for now. Uh, we can chat about it in the comments if you guys want, if you want to talk about something some more or whatever, or whatnot. But uh, if you're mad at me, let me know. Uh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. But that's it for today. And then we'll talk again tomorrow for the next question of the day. Until then, peace.